entering the earliest span of the Age of Darkness. Found in the writings of only the most aged of manuscripts, lived a world born of mystic arts and ancient sorcery, Sosaria. Despite Sosaria's enchanted origins, its people shunned magic, for its very use corrupted the souls of the unwary. But one man dared to awake the slumbering powers of alchemy, twisting the awesome power of the gem of immortality to his will and binding all of Sosaria to his corruption. Mundane, the wizard. His power was absolute as the whole of the planet was gripped in his cruel embrace. Only the appearance of a stranger saved Cesaria from impending destruction. From whence he came, no one knows, but his strength and courage were without peer. In this stranger lay Cesaria's only hope. Only a traveler from the stars could release this world from Mondain's vile stranglehold. He would prove himself a savior, shattering the gem of immortality and defeating Mondain. But a deeper and more sinister evil was released with the destruction of the gem. For Cesaria was not free of the stone's power. The planet was still bound to the jewel's magic even as it lay shattered upon the floor of Mondain's castle. For within each shattered remnant of the jewel dwelled a perfect likeness of Sosaria. Thus is the world in which you are born, live, and die. Britannia that was once Sosaria now exists as a thousand worlds, each with its own peoples, history, and destiny. This Britannia is but one of many in the multiverse that is Ultima Online. Hello guys and welcome to Ultima Online. My name is Zuljin and I'll be your host for this little adventure that I'd like to take you guys on. For a long time now, I've been wanting to get back into an RPG and um, this one sits with me the most, you guys. Um, the graphics are very, very um, basic and the game is quite old, but there's so much potential in this game. I played this game for probably 12, 13 years on and off, and um, right now I'm on a free server called UO Demise, so I don't have to pay for it, and it's it, it resembles the classic servers quite a bit. Um, not all of the advancements are on there necessary, but they have so much content that I'd like to show you guys. Um, I realize this won't be for everybody, and it shouldn't take the place of any Minecraft content that I currently have, um, but I've been longing to do like a, um, an RPG series, and this is definitely going to be it. I'm going to be going on adventures with friends, showing you guys some uh, some really cool stuff, monsters, spells, um, different character classes, skills, you name it. Um, right now, I'm sitting in the town of Minoc, and um, basically I just started here because the music is so darn amazing. I actually replaced some of the newer musics from the older files. Um, from the back in the day when I used to play Ultima. It's a little bit more nostalgic for me that way. And uh, this is ZJ. This is going to be um, my bard mage. Uh, I could show you my skills here. Ultima Online records progress as skill points and you have a skill cap of 700 points. Right now I'm at 699.3 but you can adjust those and uh, it takes a long time to master some skills and a little bit um, of training involved with that but basically when you use a skill you have a chance to uh, have an increase and the more you use that skill the better you'll get at it. You can automate some skills and I've already done quite a bit of training guys because the beginnings of this game are, um, are a little uh, 
well, they're boring. They're camera boring. A lot of it is macroing and stuff to get to reasonable skill levels so that you can enjoy some of the game content. Um, me and my buddy Iron Face have been playing from the Hypermind server, and um, maybe a couple others are going to be joining us. If you guys are interested, y'all can check the, um, the description below for some of the links, and um, I'd be happy to go on some adventures with you guys as well. So here we have some basic skill sets all subdivided into categories and my strengths are going to be here in bard now i'm probably not going to go the discordance route so currently i have that pointed down that way when i need to gain skill past 700 it's going to take away from this but for now i have it though I, I trained it a lot of the stat gains are associated with skill gains so when you gain in skill points you have the option to um, gain in stats as well so this is my strength 41 26 is my agility or dexterity and 79 is my intelligence naturally we're gonna want much higher than these i think the stat cap is 225 without some serious augmentation and just to go over a few other things this is my hit chance increase modifier this is my hit points my stamina my mana my defense chance increase this is my the stat max because that can actually go up this is my luck which um, kind of determines how the chance that I get good loot how much weight I can hold the lower mana cost modifier this is my swing speed increase this is the number of animals that I have or followers that I have uh, this is the weapon damage increase. This is my normal weapon damage, which I'm unarmed right now. Actually, I have a spell book, but it's considered wrestling. Um, lower regent cost percentage. This is my spell damage increase. This is my faster casting increase. This is my fast cast recovery increase. And these are my resistances to physical, fire, cold, poison, energy. And this is my gold that I have on hand. So not all of these are recording right now because for some reason my uh, lower region cost should be um, better than it is because I do have some stuff equipped with lower region cost. Basically all spells cost reagents in the game and I call them regents just because it, I, I don't syllabalize it all the time, it just takes too much time but um, basically all the spells cost reagents in this game and it's a little uh it can get a little bit expensive so lower region cost is great gear to start with because it actually reduces the amount of money that you spend just to be able to do things like cast spells um also my majory skills are um are actually pretty good too my magic skills um i'm on 89.2 evaluate intelligence which gives like a damage modifier and a duration modifier to some spells uh majory is 87.2 and meditation is 100 and i also have focus which is 100 right now which helps me regenerate mana but we'll be tweaking these skills as we go along um all the normal stat caps or skill caps for everything is 100 but you can get scrolls to increase them beyond that. And the way a skill works pretty much is there's a difficulty modifier for everything. So as we walk to the moon gate, I'll talk about that. Um, the, the Let's say it's an eighth circle spell. Well, you have to have a minimum of, um, uh, uh, around a minimum of 80 majory to cast that. But your chance, you're, you're gonna fail a lot at that level. So pretty much the same modifier, like the 10 points that we have um, in that modifier range, like 50, you can cast 50 through 60, you can you can gain skill off of fifth level spells, and so on and so forth. So um, music kind of works the same way. Like this grizzly bear, I have peacemaking skill by the way with Mahor, and if I use peacemaking on this guy, oh, he's too far away. Let me get a little bit closer to him. It still says he's too far away. Oh, what music instrument? My bad. Okay. There we go. So you play hypnotic mu music causing you, calming your target. So this grizzly bear is nothing naturally. Uh, let me turn that music down a little bit. Sound and music 22. Wow. It's actually, wow, it's on zero and it's still... <laughs> it's still kind of loud. My bad. I'll see if I can lower that. But um, 
basically the the idea is just to gain skill and adventure it's it's an open realm there's nothing that there's no specific end game but there's a lot of higher end content that i'd like to explore um i'm located in trammel right now and trammel is basically the non-pvp world all right you guys sorry about that i had some sound and recording issues and uh, I hope you don't mind the frames in the corner. It just helps me monitor. I'm using two monitors, and uh, this game, like I said, it makes fraps like crazy. So it's it's really hard to determine what's going to record what screen. I recorded a little bit a while ago, and it's actually the other blank screen and a bunch of my voice. So at any rate, guys, let's get on with it. This is a moon gate, and moon gates are connected all to the different worlds and lands of Ultima Online. I think the world's called Cesaria in general, but uh, these are all the different lands. Right now, we're in Trammel, which is kind of like an overworld. Um, there's also um, another clone of this called Feluca or Felucia, and it is basically a, um, a PvP clone of this world, exactly. We're not going to get much in the PvP because it's all gear-based and it costs millions of gold to get into that, so um, I don't know if I'm going to be investing that much time in. I'm just going to be playing this for fun, mostly. Um, Il Shanir, this is a lot of hunting grounds. This is where I go hunting a lot, which we'll be going to in just a second. Um, Malice, which is where we need to head to right now. There's two towns, Luna and Umbra, the city of Paladins and the city of Necromancers. And uh, we go to the city of Paladins right quick. And um, here you, I'm gonna, I, I use this place a lot because everything's so concise. Um, and there's a lot of trading and stuff that goes on here. But uh, this is the maid shop right here. This is the bank right here. And this is the kind of like the carpenter shop. There's a bunch of uh, blacksmiths here and tailors right here. So I'm pretty much sell and buy anything that I need to right here outside of vendor stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open my bank. Um, and I do have quite a bit of money getting there now. I need to save about 16000 for a spell book, a full spell book, so we can start doing some really cool stuff. So let me just take a couple hundred out because I need to buy a little bit of a... Uh, let's see, what am I low on here? Uh, I am low on, oh, we got enough root, sulfur ash, that's pretty good, black pearl maybe, no, black pearl's fine, nightshade, ah, spider silk is what we're low on, and we're also very low on something else too, probably garlic, ginseng, yeah, ginseng, garlic, we probably just need to buy a, f a few of everything. So let's go ahead and take another 300 out. I'll make this up pretty easy. Um, it's kind of a residual gain once you um, develop enough. And this, some of the equipment that I have on is lower region cost, which really helps. When that number is 100, I'll never have to uh, use another reagent again, but um, some of that gear is, uh, is is very hard to get when it has uh, cool, re good resist and stuff. Like, this is a pretty decent gear set, but the only high resist on it is fire resist, so uh, not ideal, but a very good stats for lower mana cost and lower region cost put together, a mana increase and a night sight. It's a decent pair of gloves. Too bad it's studded and I can't... Um, <laughs> I can't really meditate through it. My mana regeneration is poor with it on, in other words. Um, another thing, that's another thing we need to do, is I need to grab another Gorgon out, because this one is not all that. I'm going to put that one up and use this studded one that has some LRC and luck. LRC is short for lower region cost, just in case you guys wondering. I hope I'm not using too much jargon and moving too fast, but I don't want to explain stuff all day so you guys don't get bored. Um... For those of you that are interested, there's plenty of information on there, and I can answer specific questions and comments. Uh, let's see here. What I need is I'm going to just order up about 20 of everything, I believe, and we're going to call that good. It should have enough money to do that. Maybe not for absolutely everything, but mostly. Magic root. We had plenty of that. I was with 20. Nightshade. Let's uh, let's chill out on the night seat for a while just to make sure I can afford everything else that I need. And sulfurous ash, 500. Okay. So I'm sitting pretty good now, and I got all of these. I don't know. I wish I could put them to where uh, they would just load into the bag. But like I said, the UI on here is ancient. 
They do have some enhanced clients, but the server that I'm playing on is not supported. Um, and to tell you the truth, I'd rather this client anyway. I'm used to it. Um, it's uh, it's nostalgic for me, you know. So anyway, so now I'm pretty much ready to go, you guys. I got some reagents to cast spells with. I've got uh, my trusty harp that I'm gonna uh, pacify and provoke some monsters to fight with. Satisfied. It's retarded names. Um, okay, so let's head to Ilshanir and I believe Honor, and we're gonna have to book it too. No, it's not Honor, it is Honesty. Oh, yeah, I get confused all the time. Okay, run, 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 run. A lot of stuff around here. Most of the time, unicorns spawn there and kind of keep the area safe um, because they're um, they're good aligned <clears throat> and they kill the bad guys and they're pretty strong. Um, but unfortunately, there's um, there's been some necromancers there killing um, the good mobs for their loot. So, so here's what we're going to be fighting a little bit of. These are Etons or I call them Etons. Um, it's just, when I was a kid, I think I mispronounced them, and it just kind of stuck with me, so uh, if you hear me calling both of them, don't... Ooh, a Cyclopean Warrior. These are really, really strong. Um, let's see if I can make this guy fight the Cyclopean Warrior. I doubt it. No. Maybe I can piece the Cyclopean Warrior, though. If I could do that, it would be very nice. Yep, he stopped. Okay, so he's not going to attack me for a little while. And let's bring this Eaton up here to fight with this other one. This is my, my provoking skill. <coughs> oh, didn't work. No. Fight. There we go. All right, so now I got some working room with this guy, and he's not gonna attack me as long as I keep him pieced. See if I could put some poison on him and fireball him a couple times. Oh yeah, these guys are gonna give good loot. Uh oh. All right, so you need a piece too. Relax, okay? We good. My provoking skill is not nearly as high as my piecing skill. So, <laughs> there we are. Poison yourself. Here, drink this. It'll make you feel better. There we go. Now I can bring it back to fireball. Oh, no. Stay awake. And there's another eating coming. Here, go fight that. Oh. Oh, what am I doing? Failed. Peace. Peace, man. Nope, relax. Thank you. All right. Back to this guy. There we go. Come on, bass flying fireball. A couple more ought to do it. Come on, baby. Wow. What a kill. Okay, this guy has got ooh, almost 500 gold. Sweet. What is this? It's a bracelet, musicianship, faster cast recovery. Yeah, I'll sell it. This little cap, night sight, mana regen, trash. And a uh, studded bustier, which I can't wear because <laughs> I'm not a girl. Okay, I believe this guy just died. Yep. 215, not bad. Um, let's see. No, but I could sell it. And I could also sell that. Alright. Let's try to make these guys fight. Hey, he called your mother an ogre. Are you gonna take that? Uh, I guess he didn't believe me. Alright. Um, he said you stink like dingleberries. Nope. That didn't work either. <laughs> Leave me alone. Fight, I said. I could just piece these guys and, and, and just fireball them to death, but it's not as much fun as insulting their mothers. He said your mom was a troll. 
Dang it. <laughs> One more time. Okay, I'm about to just piece these guys. But it is helping me raise my skill here and there, I think. I have a chance. I don't know if I have a chance to gain on these guys. We'll see if I do it a few more times. There we go. No gain, but you'll see some scrolling words right here if I have some gain. And right now I'm using the tilde t key, so if you see some chat building up down there, that's what it is. All right. Golly, you didn't do much damage to him at all, dude. He's mad at all those mom, mama jokes and insults. Oh, look, here we go. That didn't work. That's not the one I already looted. Cool. Wait. Nope. Wait. There we go. A little bit of damage. No, not poison. I'm so not used to my keys, y'all. I used to have an optimized mouse for this game and all kind of stuff. I played it a long time. Let me bring my character sheet back up. Alright. Relax for the moment while I loot these. While I loot your friends and family. And heat of shield, I could sell it. Can't even wear it yet, but you don't want to put stuff in your hands that's not spell channeling because it won't allow you to, um, well, it won't allow you to cast spells. <laughs> uh, typically, spell channeling is pretty good, but you need the, uh, the skill to back it up as well. Um, the weapon type, I mean. Uh, the shield, you do need parry, but sometimes you can get some enhancements from just having it in your hand if the drawbacks aren't too bad, like uh, slowing down your casting time. Uh, let's see. I need to help this guy catch up. There we go. Fight back. See... I've already made up what I spent uh, in reagents pretty easy, and I haven't used a whole lot because if I'd just be straight casting spells on these guys, I would be... Oh, hey, relax. Hey, stop. Whew. Thank you. All right. Grab this potion. What is this right here? I could sell these. Wait, will you fight him? Fight him. Fight him. Thank you. Fight him. And be poisoned with yourself. And take a fireball to yourself. And another one. And let me even out the playing field for you guys here. Alright. That's a fair fight. Who will win? Not the guy that's poisoned. Nope. I thought he'd come back as an underdog. Okay. This is actually really really profitable <laughs> too much of this is not going to be too good uh for video's sake um so we'll probably move on to something else let us uh we kind of started off with the high action stuff and uh <laughs> and had that dorn um that cyclops come through let's uh let's see if i could piece another one of those cyclops i need to find a spell called blade spirits um it's like the first spell that I can really do some damage with uh, for non-casters. Ooh, look at this guy, dude. He's got a lot of stuff killed. Oh, there's Titans. Titans are like Cyclopses, but spell class. I don't know what he's saying, Kate Luna. <laughs> I think he wanted a Luna Gate, <laughs> but I told him I was a noob. This guy, look, good lord. What's this guy got on? Oh, Soul Seeker. Repon Slayer. Ooh, look at the damage on that thing. Yeah, he is, uh, he's not hurting. <laughs> Some very, very strong equipment. See the resist on this guy's stuff? 
the fire resist, cold resist, poison resist, energy resist, uh, stamina increase. Uh, this guy, that's that's a high end piece of armor, a pretty high end piece of armor. Let's see if we can loot any of this stuff that he left behind. Um, looks like there was an axe on the floor, nothing good. Um, oh, that's a little ring. I could sell that. I could probably sell this axe too. And this potion. Let's see what else we could get. I see that Cyclopean warrior coming. Gotta be careful. Oh, a bunch of stuff right here. Let's see. Discordance. Oh, I could take that. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'm just gonna take all of this stuff just in case. Oh, he's coming. Peace. Alright, let's poison him. And we'll get started on uh on hurting him. 22 points at a time ain't bad. My skills are gonna get better and so will my spell damage and stuff from the kind of equipment that I get. So I'll be able to kill guys with spells. Plus my spells will actually get better too when I start uh, being able to summon things to help me fight. It'll be good. Then Iron Face is gonna have taming so he'll have his monsters. I'll be able to piece him while his, his freaking animals and his monsters kill for him. <laughs> kill for us. There we go. Good amount of fame. That's what I'm talking about. Titans are what we gotta watch out for, you guys. Peace. Okay. 463. Yeah, that's good. That's We need to find some that are away from Titans. I know there's some spots out here. I just gotta look for them. Okay. I don't think I could sell that for much. And this deer mask, I know I can't. Uh, let's see. Can I loot that Titan yet? Titan corpse. Titan's corpse. I guess that's it right there. Cyclops corpse, yeah. That had to be it. Uh, the rest disappeared. What is that? Is that a barrel? That's like a trash barrel, I guess. Oh, he's got a bunch of stuff around here. Let's see if I can loot. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, that ain't good. I don't think I could piece this guy either. Uh oh. Ouch. See what he did there is he weakened me and I was carrying too much so it fatigued me and I couldn't run away. So I had to quickly cast <laughs> strength. That's basically why I got it there. That and when I find out I have uh, too much stuff on me um, and I wanna, I wanna, t oh no, 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 no. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Whoo. Okay. I think this is a good time to retreat back to Luna. Wow. What a, uh, what a haul. Let's see. And I, oh, got to get back here soon, too. Got a lot of stuff around here. Trammel. No, Malice. Luna. Get out quick. All right. Woo. What we got? <laughs> Let's see. Now that we can concentrate a little bit. Let's go and sell some of these goods. Let's see these ringmill legs. This, these axes. The axe, see, they only sell for 16. That heater shield sells good. 115. Broadsword. Let's see. I also have this leather. I don't think I could sell that, but the tailor might take it. Let's see. Will you take that? Nope. I have nothing that I would be interested in. Fine. Five. Um, necromancy spellbook. I don't think I could sell that. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so with that, let's see. Ooh, 27, 78. That's good stuff. 13,909. We are very close to our full spellbook, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the trash and sell these couple of potions that I have. These potions that I've been picking up, by the way, are so weak, um, it's really not worth keeping them. Cures are okay, I suppose. Um, refresh potions are okay, too, but um, I'm not really uh, worried about those, actually. Um, let's see. So I can't sell that. So we could throw that away. And I can't sell that, so I can throw that away. 
and I can't sell this, so I can throw that away. Or at least they wouldn't buy it. Sometimes you can sell stuff at other places, but um, let's see, necromancy plus eight, lower mana cost. I guess I'll keep that just in case we have to augment some skill gains um, with other characters. Hit chance increase too. Nope. I can sell these two pieces of jewelry. Not the tinker. Oh no, he's a quest giver. Sell to the jeweler. And he'll take the ring. He'll take... Oh, I want to keep that too. Um, yeah, we look good. That looks good to me. And I'll put this in the bank. Well, bank's a little disorganized, but... We'll get to organization later. And that's another couple of gold to add to the pot. And we still have more some, some more reagents too, so we are doing pretty good, you guys. Well, I think you've learned enough for the day. <laughs> Next time we come back, I'll try to do some adventuring with Iron Face and um, possibly go on an adventure with you guys to um, something a little different and, um, and do some cool stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you like the video and um, give me some feedback in the comment section, guys. Let me know what you think about the game and, um, and the series. So thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. Have a good one.